But I said, do you mm -hmm. delete all of an ex's pictures after you're done dating? And if dating someone else, does it bother you if you see pictures of their ex when it pops up? Boom, good question. Pop, 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 pop. He knew yeah. what he said. Because <laughs> he tried to shit on me. He was like, you hype this shit up. It better be good. Uh -oh. And then you go, bitch. Now you can answer first. And you didn't want to It feels like all. such a relevant question to me. I wonder what, what this brings up. Because recently, my phone has started being like, memories. And it's like, yeah, here are memories yeah. of your ex. And, your, and I'm like, when did this happen? <laughs> and your phone don't give this fuck. start. Yo. Your phone don't even know if it was a good memory. It your really, phone just be throwing memories away. You're yeah. like, bitch, this wasn't even a good day. Remember <laughs> this. Why would you want to remind day. me of this? <laughs> Remember of this airport fight? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, I I mean, I think it's fine to have them. I don't really think I... I understand not, like, having them on my phone accessible, like, yeah. as memories. Like, I get why my girlfriend's like, <laughs> but hey, you what the fuck? control memories. I, I don't know how to control memories. You control memories. your own memories. You don't control the iPhone's memories. <laughs> yeah. The iPhone has its own memories. <laughs> I don't know why this started happening, but... It is new. I was wondering, is that why you asked? Or? No, it's not okay, me. I just memories, didn't know. Memories definitely will hit you with some shit where you're like, why would you bring this shit up? I'm in the middle of a, a date with my current person. And tell us, remember this bitch? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, want to talk about this. <laughs> why are you doing this to me? <laughs> no, I just want to know, like, if you are the partner, though, if you saw, like, memories pop up for your, for your per situation, your, your spouses or spouses, yo, I your persons. I think it's per person. I think yeah. it's per, like, all right, safe as if you, if you're that bitter and it, that bitter person and it, it ended tragically, you probably don't want the pictures, right? And then if you still lust after the person, you probably still have some significant pictures that you probably don't want to get rid of, too. So it's, it's all type of crazy little weird turns and twists through that whole type of thing depending on the person that's just me see for me it's more like if i delete one then i i gotta delete all of them all i ever think about is how long it's gonna take me to delete all of them hey, and hey. i be like i don't fucking want to go <laughs> this, 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 fucking this, shit. Look, this the other question will you feel bad once you delete it tomorrow but you be like fuck it's gone forever now no okay well you could you should be able to delete well, if it you just keep your i don't want to sit that's down that's for that's fucking two that. hours and and, and and select 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 Ooh, that one got my family in it I do like that picture of my family. That bitch is in it too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> you can't. It's, I say there's a lot of twists and turns in it, man. But I think it's per person for sure. But I think I think a little bit of everybody might hold on to a couple trinkets for sure. It, like, is it bad to hold on to good memories of your ex? Aren't you allowed to be like, yeah, are that you, ultimately didn't work out, but I have love for that person. Asking, oh, you ain't never dated a black woman. <laughs> 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 but uh, before me, there was none. Yeah, no, you don't want to have no memories of your ex. If you don't got, if you don't got no, if you ain't in a relationship, fuck it. Do what the fuck you want to do. You, you but if you're really, you can have ten of them if you want. If that's what your lifestyle is. That's they be calling Courtney uh, ghostly. Courtney, she mighty ghostly right now, motherfucker. You ain't saying nothing. Ah, uh, because this is such an interesting topic. I think so I just had this conversation. Yeah, I bet you <laughs> What's did. What's going on? Why is this <laughs> this like in our conscious? I don't week? know, um, y'all. I'm just and asking questions. I think you should delete. As many as you can, because when they do pop up, <laughs> what is happening? Let her know what's up. What She's on very quickly. They can create issues. So with you, <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. it seems like or you create no, issues. Or <laughs> it's awkward. Like if if I'm on my phone and we're, I'm showing you something and the memory pops up and it's my old joint, you're like. Uh, and I'm like, oh, you, uh, so we're just going to pretend no one saw that. No, just, it's also, <laughs> I had a life before you. Yes, yeah. absolutely. But maybe like put them in a folder. That's what I, I think. Like, I should have them in a folder. Oh, and I don't. What, is this, what, what is this folder for though? <laughs> this folder, folder is holding on to the past. The folder sounds way crazier <laughs> yes. than, than what I'm talking about. And it folder. sounds like many more. Okay, so it sounds like the folders. Them or no? The folder says you categorize them. The folder says you put the motherfuckers in a box and said, <laughs> These are my sacred place, a folder for my ex. Okay, oh, but <laughs> so doesn't it show that they're just randomly popping up in my memories that I like don't think about that at all? Which hey, is bro. therefore what if it was that the iPhone thing? technology no. was giving you no, what stop. you was thinking about? No, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Let me ask you a straight up and down question: Whether the iPhone a app reminds you of this person or these events. You saving these fucking photos is your own reminder. So whenever you go back, it's going to do the same shit the app doing to you. So to have them in your possession is just purely putting yourself in the same position. No, but me. the difference is this, though. Mm. You don't always go back. You don't just go back so all day. So why have them, bro? Why am I, ha why am I have these extra because, boxes in you know this why? other room you know when why? I can make this other room some fly shit? 
No, because I ain't got no. It ain't taking up that much room. <laughs> I, so I, I got like, the biggest yeah, like iPhone. Photo nah, listen, bro. Listen, I got bro. the biggest with iPhone. Listen, with relationships, bro, some you just can't play with. If you done with it, you got to really be done. Because mm -hmm. you start to get to this crazy, weird mode. And you know, living in certain cities, you live in the same city with them, y'all might see. It's, it's weird. Sometimes. You think if you got a picture of somebody, you ain't done no, with them? No, no. Possibly, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. No. Put like this. Put like this. If I if I had a girl right now and she I somehow found out there was a picture of her ex in her phone that she's still potentially like holding, she don't want to delete it. Yeah, that's kind of no, no, no. Did you ask her to delete it? She said no. No, I don't even know how I found out. Let's not make the <laughs> rules how it happened. <laughs> 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 Let's just use the hypothetically way of saying if, if I found out it's a picture there, I'm going to be like, why you still got the picture of the nigga? Do you want to fuck with me? Why would you go through my phone, nigga? No, and I never went through it. See, y'all, I, 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 I don't even do that shit. I'm joking but what about, I believe what about if you like, do do that, you find what you're looking for every time, I believe. Yeah. What about like, like college girlfriends or high school girlfriends? Like, am I not allowed to like, like, I, I feel like I look at like college pictures now and I went like, oh yeah, I was dating that person. There's like nothing in my heart that's like, my college girlfriend. See, you white, like, Chris. You can do what you hey want man, to do. Hey, man, see, now, depending on how old you are, man, those pictures might put you in jail, man. You <laughs> 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 it's high school, man. You got to let that go. No, you know? I, I th like, if you had an experience, like, I, I get I, I get that it's weird of <laughs> me looking over at my last relationship, like, fondly or, like, memory. Like, it's too soon. But in 10, 15 years, you put your own rules when I'm shit. like, what was I doing in the 2010s? Bro, like, how do you feel if your I have female, to erase this person from my life? A, oh, a ex picture in her phone. I wouldn't care. You wouldn't care? Cause I, no, because I'd be like, yo, it's number one, it's your phone. I don't delete my shit either. I know, like, number one, I know I got, like, thousands of pictures mm -hmm. of an ex. Or X is. Guess what? Mm -hmm. I don't feel like fucking sitting down for seven <laughs> hours and being like, okay, that one gotta go. This one's good. That's a funny <laughs> meme. I remember that day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking want to do it. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about no X. I just I don't want to do it. But you gotta understand sometimes shit trigger people man so me personally if i'm done mm -hmm. i'm just done oh, no, just if, me. It, if it me personally because if i know if i keep looking at certain kind of pictures i'm gonna want what i'm looking at mm. that's just me being honest with myself fuck being honest with y'all i'm honest home first if i keep looking at certain kind of pictures i'm gonna want what i see and you i'm gonna be said it um, hey i never <laughs> said i was well i never said i was well i feel like the takeaway is if you're this is BJ's part of my therapy girlfriend. today today is part of my therapy this is therapy this today is, is part of my therapy <laughs> ladies and gentlemen <laughs> You're doing better already, already. <laughs> yeah, look at her face when I said that. Her, face. her face was like, Nah, Jesus. you need this therapy too. Cause you ain't over here rocking with no <laughs> <Everybody> <laughs> therapy. She's, I mean, I think to some degree. Uh, I, I skip this topic. I like oh, this like topic. I think this is a trouble. great like question yeah, to start off with. I got another question. Do you put your syrup on your French toast before or after you cut it? I don't even be eating French toast like Wait, that. Wait, what? Hey, see, here you go. I was trying to help you out. I was trying to, <laughs> thank you, I was thank trying to help you with a spin move. You was like, quick. what? All right, now throw it back in the fire. <laughs> she don't understand what help is. Throw ass back in the flame. I shack, me shack in the bed, nigga. Throw ass back in the flame. <laughs> go in the group. To the fire. Go. There she goes. I was trying to help yeah, you yeah, out. He was trying to help you I out. Was, you and you, you feel are, it. You are. I'm a good dude at heart. Nigga said, what? Hey. <laughs> hey, nah, but for real though, can you put you you think it, you could put syrup on your shit before you cut it? I gotta put it on after, bro. No, I, it's gotta um, be on no, I put it on before. I'm trying to think. I put it after before, feels before, smart, yeah. but I do it before. But yeah. I now that I think about Psycho it, Psycho serial killer. <laughs> I, I, nigga, I don't have a choice, do I? <laughs> 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 two, two people made the murderers. <laughs> hey, hey, now what kind of weapon do you use? <laughs> Samurai sword. Welcome to Mono Weed. Welcome to Mono Weed. Yeah. We are back. Uh, uh, I am one of your hosts. I am Sterling Steel Obrim, aka that dude, aka S to the B to your best of the breed, aka is that third leg. No, it's just me, aka Concerned Father, aka. Black Mama, aka our people like Mamba, aka Steezington, Stylington, your stylist, stylist, uh, 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 um, what is it? Husband potential, baby day tendencies, <laughs> uh, uh, aka last but not least, your uncle Elroy. And with me as always, I'm Chris Reinecker, aka the Chronic Sewer, aka the Goop in Your Gap, aka Saxophone Jones, aka the Elusive Moose, aka Speed Bump, aka your new baby daddy, yeah. aka your new camp counselor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty. It is pretty I didn't good. Even la, la, stun, la, la, la. Okay, la la la. Yeah. Uh, and our invisible 
co-host. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, aka Off Camera Court, aka No Face No Case, aka Susan Storm, aka Invisible Court, aka Courtside Court, aka Y'all keep giving me a lot of AKs every week. Oh, yeah, like the last one. <laughs> Um, and uh, um, with us this week, we have a very special guest, very special guest, singer, songwriter, uh, award winning, award nominated singer, songwriter, my, my guy, Chicago native, BJ Chicago kid. What up, boy, boy? I just want yeah. to but AKAs, you got no player. What's up, man? I'm, I'm just chilling, man. I'm Damn. Like, I'm the nigga in the back acting like I ain't supposed to be here, but I love being here. I'm but everybody chilling. know you are. I'm glad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chill. Only thing to do, and if you don't know about this show, we do on the show is we smoke a little weed, we drink a little oh, wine, and we talk a little shit. It's pretty simple. No, I, I it's pretty it simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, this week we're smoking some balanced again. No, 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 no. BJ no. brought some shit. BJ oh, got some shit. shit. I brought some gifts. You gonna smoke? With with yeah. Friends. You know what? I think you might be the first guest that's brought yeah. weed for us. Because yeah. Because everybody else so don't ooh, understand. Respect. Take note, Catch other guests. Shit. Oh, you that, see was, that, left that was Nucky's life or Chris's <laughs> catching ability. <laughs> I, I trusted him more than I trusted my throw. Way more than you should have. have. But nah, yeah, yeah, it's a little wonder bread. We go ahead and get okay. it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. But nah, thank y'all for having me, man. It's of an honor. Co- of course, dude. So, What's that one? Uh, I got um, orange, sunset. Orange, sunset. orange sunset. Let me smoke that. I ain't smoked that in a minute. I used to smoke that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice little THC. I like wonder yeah. bread. For those that like to count their numbers. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Oh. And we're uh, drinking this fancy bottle. Link in the bio? Miraville oh. Province. We go have a link of this. Some rose. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We go have a link in the bottom. Oh, yeah. Can you, can you do it? Can you do it, Chris? What? No, you don't. I'll do it. Are we doing okay. Wonder Brat? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, Wonder Brat, one of our favorite brands. Go check out the link in our description. Yeah, yeah I feel like we haven't smoked Wonder Brat on the they show got, in a while. They got the so shop on the bread, too. You go check them out. It, real quick. It, is. It's, it's, it ain't too much. Where, are you smoking in Fronto? Graba. That's Graba? I don't know. The I cousin of Fronto. Shit. The cousin of Fronto. Is that are they actual cousins? Is, um, yeah, I think um all leaves like this are cousins. Um that's a real leaf, nigga. Yeah. Wait, what are you opening? You missed the whole combo. Graba. I know. Fronto. Damn. Uh, this is, I, a lot of islands just smoke out of this. Belizeans, Jamaicans, Haitians, you know, it comes from Wait, you them first for me. You are you buying this from this pack right here? Yeah, yeah. Word. Yeah. Like nigga, I, I feel so disconnected but to you know, this. This looks part awesome. Of when you in the hood, if you go to it the African amazing. shops, the African shops sell these, so you, they sell it without the brand. Like you can go through and pick. You want a light one, a dark one. You know, this one got a hole in it. You know, you you can get specific with how you want to get down with your leaf life. But that's what I call it. Leaf Whoa, life. I haven't been smoking long enough. So those the transitions for to leaf people. Life. For people who are just listening, you kind of just pulled out a giant leaf like the size yeah. of a forearm. Yeah. Well, for our, you know, I've really, been, I really been smoking since Backwoods was in the eight pack, though, dog. You know, these young guys, you know. Yeah, go ahead and put these niggas in smoking, place. I was smoking when Backwoods came eight in a pack for the same price. Now they got five for the same thing. I stopped smoking mm. some time ago. But, you know, I, I always, uh, whatever was, was right for me, that's what I trend to rock with. I never really rock with the trends. So, you know, I can't smoke out of bongs. Bongs make me lose my voice. Small bong, big bong, mm. don't matter. Bong. Pipe, pipe, same thing? And yeah, same, yeah. same thing. What, so. how, how do you roll with vapes? Same type of thing. Say it, it gets yeah, to my throat too. Yeah, same type of thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. Are we ro- rolling out? Yeah, I was gonna roll it up. I, I know that's that's some other tree I wrote up for you already. Okay. But smoke whatever. I'm gonna smoke this for sure. You wanna get into the news of the week? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a show, right? Yeah, let's get into the news of the week. All right, yeah. First article. O.J. Simpson says he avoids Los Angeles because he's scared to run into Nicole Brown Simpson's murderer despite being civilly sick. liable for killing her. That nigga is sick. <laughs> I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way around it. That nigga is sick. <laughs> so, the 74-year-old... Dang, he's 74? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so the 74-year-old who was infamously acquitted of murdering his ex-wife and her friend Ron is still running his mouth about the case. So Simpson sat down for a lengthy interview with The Athletic where he spilled about everything from the pandemic, his life in Vegas, and Nicole's murder. So he basically this said... Man is still taking interviews on this murder. He calls the incident the L.A. thing. Unfortunately, some people were... No, he doesn't. Yes. <laughs> no, he doesn't. The he L.A. It thing. The L.A. thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, some people wrongfully believe something, but I moved on. I still think I'm a good guy. I didn't let it change me, but it did for a while. I was angry for a while, but I treat everyone, everybody the way I wanted to be treated. 
what? Okay, yeah. He says that he moved out of Los Angeles, so now he's living a good life. And I have trouble with L.A. People may think this is self-serving, but I might be sitting next to whoever did it. I really don't know who did this. That's also why you say, nigga, you sit next to him every day. <laughs> nigga, you <laughs> are him. <laughs> every time I see a mirror, I, ah! <laughs> That could be, that could be the murder. Yeah. No, I mean, OJ. I don't. Th- my my only thing I can, I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that OJ just don't want to die and go out without us remembering what he did before that shit, and he don't know how to stay relevant. This is the only thing that people actually will 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 post. Nobody want to take no interviews with OJ about him winning the Heisman or him um, and, and having a hell of a football career or a great fucking acting career. None of that shit. Just, they only want to put in the media. When he talks about the murder, you can't say you ain't black, though, my nigga. Who? OJ? Yeah, yeah he did say that. Yeah, I, he did. He that's did. why I, niggas. At, that's why it's hard at, for him. At, at some point, I, that's when I just I'm not in the full conversation because after I hear certain things, shit, my ticket is ripped up, thrown out the window. He said he's not here no more. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not mm. for the ride anymore. I'm in mm. a different car, different certain shit. I just can't hear. Yeah, no. When OJ said that shit, I mean that was different. They showed that nigga very quickly. He was a nigga, and then right after that, when that nigga got out of prison and tried to like drop a rap album, niggas was like, "What is this? And why no, you no, just? No. Aren't you said you rewind, went black?" Rewind that. Remember the chains? No the chains, and he was rocking the do rag <laughs> crazy. That nigga was rocking the rap chains. <laughs> he was wilding, fam. He went to see the jeweler, jeweler. <laughs> yeah. That nigga, yeah, OJ is wild. I mean, I didn't know OJ put out a rap album. I OJ's knew about a narcissist, his, fam. I knew about his prank show. Yo, he used to be at the Key Club when it was called the Key Club. You know what I'm saying? That? Mm. That's yeah. what all them chain pictures were when he was thugging. Yeah, I was like, oh, OJ on this thug shit. Yeah, he was definitely trying to. You show the nigga that boy. Yeah, OJ, <laughs> go home. I don't, I don't know, man. Just stay out the media, fam. He been doing interviews on this shit since he got out. Though. Mm-hmm. I think just not even just OJ, though. Anybody that kind of get away with some type of something or you get a slap on the wrist or they just you know you kind of get away slightly unscathed go and sit down somewhere that's how you know you really do think you go like sit down somewhere. yeah like, when you really ain't just getting out the way like yeah. niggas would never niggas would be like yeah. i'm good fam yeah this, it, that was close hey, that go back to when your parents looked at you like this when you was little they just turn their teeth yeah hey i'm no problem for the rest of the night we good me and you we straight i'm quiet i ain't even here <laughs> like that's how it is when the law look at you or they give you a situation like that man they, they grit their teeth at you go and sit down somewhere man don't get out the way bro how many, how many years did he get for for the uh, him, <laughs> him robbing his own shit? Memorabilia. Yeah, it was like thirty three years. That was, that, was that was his last stretch. Okay. Doctor. Yeah, he got like he got overcharged with that because we all know 1, he got mm-hmm. undercharged with the other thing. With so the Chris, LA, you think he did it? With the L A thing. Oh yeah, so he was sentenced to thirty three years in prison and uh, he was released in twenty seventeen. Damn, I remember when he was getting out too. He had a Twitter the next day. I said this nigga sick. Now he's <laughs> doing sick. vlogs on the golf course. <laughs> so he said OJ Simpson got a tweet. I said, oh no. Bro, the, the creepiest video of them all is when he acting like he did it, but he didn't do it. Or the, the one when he got the knife? Oh yeah, that's creepy. When, that's, a, that, that's, that's, that's creepy. I, I don't know. Is that the prank like show? This, when he the, went to bed that night, I know he was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, he had like, a prank show pilot. I don't, I, know, I don't know about the prank show, but that video of him saying, so she like, did you do it? And his smirk is like, so what if I did it? Or, I was like, oh, this is <laughs> he wrote a book called "If I I, I, I Didn't Do It, But yeah. If I Did" or some shit like that. Yeah, if I did it, I don't cook, but if I did, yeah, and if I did, is <laughs> this way would be bigger. the recipes. Like, what? <laughs> 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 I mean, some good ass recipes, nigga. Are like, you sure you don't cook? <laughs> these recipes not even thorough because you don't cook. <laughs> so what are we buying? <laughs> yes, if I did it, Confessions of the Killer. That's so yeah. Weird. By the way, it says I did it. It's that, what is it? And then the if is like tiny. The so if is really small. The and the title is I Did It. What's wrong with that man? Man. He wasn't doing all that man. shit by himself. That was also during a horrible time in media and shit. Yeah. Where people were like, this is what's going to sell. Hey, you, you think if it was a black family, you think that somebody would have came to see him? You talking about with the killer? Yeah. If, if you say, you, you, think, you think somebody from the family was just like, fuck it, I'm just going to see this thing. Oh, 1,000%. OJ wouldn't be walking around doing this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he said, nah, he wouldn't be walking around doing this bullshit. <laughs> so the next one is, I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but it's the uh, jetpack guy that has been reported in LAX. 
Yeah, so the FBI is investigating a new report of Los Angeles elusive jetpack guy who may have been spotted soaring over California again this weekend. So a commercial pilot radioed in on the possible sighting Wednesday at 6.12 p.m. So use caution, use caution the jetpack guy is back at one of the air traffic um, alerts. <coughs> so he's apparently been flying near LAX, and he uses like a jetpack, like a, literally a jetpack. That's We've had a couple of theories on yeah, this guy. And he's like flying up to 3,000 feet high. So One of our theories is that it's a drone carrying a fake guy. I like that theory. I never heard this theory. You were on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I was on. The, no, no, it might be your I theory. Was on the sh- I was on the show. We were talking about this. I just don't remember that particular episode. Oh, theory. I remember being like, that makes sense no. that it's a drone carrying a fake jetpack guy. But I, that's the last I it, conversation. It's a no fly zone after 3,000 feet, right? Yeah. I think he's only going to the limit. No, actually, this one says he went up to 5,000 feet. Then that's when they should have shot his ass. Yeah, but they've only caught him on camera one time. I wouldn't feel comfortable. How, what the, do we know? Feet <clears throat> no, that nigga, he's getting... No, I wouldn't be comfortable. First of all, he's getting stronger and stronger each time. Yeah, he's, he's going, going higher and higher and higher. He's going higher 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 Astro Boy. I see Bezos. I think it's going on. Is there an update on this guy? Or is so it just literally he's back? The, the last time I saw him was two weeks yeah, ago. Just, and then this new article yeah. is from over this past week where he was spotted again. So he just keeps spotted. getting spotted, but they haven't been able to arrest him. That's bullshit. They know who this nigga is. Update. It's only one nigga who owns a fucking drone who can, who's rich <laughs> enough to keep flying in the goddamn sky and getting away with it. They just not trying to arrest this nigga. They know him. That's a joke, though. That he's a able to even get up that high. Like, how did he invent that? What <laughs> I don't is fuck this? with heights like that. I don't, I'm, I'm no, good. and if it's just under the bottom of your feet, yeah, that's that feel saying. crazy. It's not enough support for me. I think it's like you ever did that little back. water thing. No, nah, that little water thing where you go up and they turn you to fucking Doctor Octopus for two yeah, seconds. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. You uh-huh. like what? That shit. You can What's barely control yourself. Thing? Hey, what is it? Not even out of fear, but when I get on planes, I, I go don't to sleep know what before the plane is. even take off. Just because I'm just so used to being on planes, I'm sleep for the plane take off. I don't got time to be playing with y'all up there. If I can't get myself up, I definitely can't get my goddamn self. <laughs> Stop fucking with me. Stop fucking with me. I only want licensed motherfuckers to take me up and licensed motherfuckers to bring me down. Which, which brings us. To I ain't playing with my own negligence, motherfuckers. Fuck all that. You know they got, I got yo. I got I got some of my best songs that ain't came out yet, and I want them to come out the way I want them to. <laughs> y'all got me fucked. <laughs> I got more work to do. Fuck all that. They actually pay it. What pilots now? What two two forty seven an hour? Yeah, they got niggas a going crazy. How long is how long is flight school like in total oh, timeline? Okay, so I got this. I had a homie just come over here. We talking this shit. It's mm-hmm. weird that we was just talking about this. But you remember the old game that you used to play on fucking computer flight simulation? No, I don't. And like you remember in school, every <laughs> school, yeah, all the computers came with the shit. The mm-hmm. flight simulator shit. It's okay. like a super like DOS oh, style. Oh, yeah. it oh. says okay, six to twelve months with a minimum of forty logs of flying hours. That don't sound right. So they took off the actual flight simulator program off of the actual plane. The the the, the computers after nine eleven. Oh wow! Because uh, people were actually using it to learn to learn how to fly. fly. Wow. So their theory was like we're gonna take this off. So which says to me it gives me credence to believe mm-hmm. you could really fly from that motherfucker. For real. If you remove it, it's something true about it. So. I get you. So, well, well, I'm just saying, for them to be like, we got to take this shit off because this could be the way they're figuring it out. Like, you didn't even believe that. So, for me, it's like 247. If they left Flight Simulator on, you probably give me a good two weeks, nigga. I'll be in there. I'll be nice for <laughs> sure. Now, give me two weeks in Flight Simulator, nigga. You will see me being number one pilot. I'll be Sully, fam. And you probably get your own custom <laughs> flight fit, too. You nigga, easy. My own color. Yeah, I want my own cut. They'd be like, did he spray paint the wings? I'd be like, yeah, Blue to Gray do it. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you guys, the first time you learned to drive, like get in the car and the driver instructor was like, all right, we're doing it. And you were like, wait, I don't no, know how to black drive. Black people learn how to drive in an empty parking lot. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly how I learned in an empty uh, parking lot. <laughs> and they get yelled at on every first turn. Yeah. Ah, boy, boy, start the fucking hell. You yeah, swear you're going to kill him. I always <laughs> pictured it like that. I think I did that one time. But then when we got into driving <laughs> lessons, like because you had to take three of those, I remember just getting in and then being like, cool, we're going to try out the freeway. But you only had three. You took three, three like, driver lessons. Niggas, what? You can tell you grew up in the fucking country of the rule. Whatever you were. <laughs> niggas say he had three driver lessons. Yeah, and they put me right. That's okay, it? so this is a small town thing because they threw, threw yeah, me right yeah, behind the fucking wheel. Three lessons, you are not you, ready. You grew up on, on a like. 
Camden Road or something road. Like we have streets and <laughs> avenues. Yeah, probably. You got like you got like hill and uh, whatever the other country terms it's are. It's like old streets. ranch yeah. road is yeah, a road yeah, yeah, in my yeah, town. Yeah, <laughs> Did you really? Tell. Yeah, literally. Uh, I was just wondering if it was like that with flights where because you t you do all the online tests you do like the in school stuff that's a good question and then you have to do three like a nigga yeah, just getting the plane with I've, you and be like I've go seen, all right I've we're seen, flying yeah, now no I, you go with you go with an experienced pilot i've seen oh they're kind of, they're so there you go, with you. you go with experienced pilot yeah and both of them kind of can control the plane at the same time in case something would happen. that's also a blur. but i would never want to <laughs> be the third passenger in there i'll see y'all when y'all come back one thousand mm -hmm. actually actually, actually, actually i'll see you after you get your paper i'll hand you your paperwork but they don't need both pilots to actually land I'm Good. I, if you just if this your first time up there, I would suggest you take somebody with you. Yeah, you got to take somebody that's really yeah. good. Yeah, that's what it's about. That's what yeah. it's about. Even like, shit, American Airlines got two pilots. I mean, it's the same shit. When you, when I forgot you about that about same planes same as I asked. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Still have two. Yeah. What about what, what about the situation. little one seater those uh, I joints? Think, I think that, that shit exists. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Them little propeller planes. Yeah. Them, not, them, oh jeez. I, <laughs> I almost said what I called it at home. I almost, I almost called it what I called it at home when I'm by myself. Oh jeez. <laughs> I almost called it what I called it at oh, home. Shit. But no, nah, them little planes ain't ain't the business, man. I feel like them planes remind me of disaster. They do. Yeah. Is this Jetpack guy like the new Wright brothers? Like, is he kind of doing something? Did he what? fucking invent this Stop thing? Stop trying to get this nigga out of glory. What? Man. Maybe, maybe. Did is he invent he inventing this? Inventing a new mode of travel? Did, did yeah. He, is he like testing out like a really nah, big. You can't give him that much credit, yo. The Wright brothers is. is he didn't so invent much. the fucking air pack? Jetpack? Yeah. Jetpack? Do we have a Rocket jetpack Man? that gets 2,000 feet? Hey, bro, Rocket, Rocket Man, Man no. still, can you, it's, I, I'm still amazed at how a plane could stay in the air like that. I don't give a fuck how much technology y'all put in front of my know. face. Yeah, I have no, yeah, I don't exactly. need to I don't want you to tell me. Because it's not going to make sense. <laughs> I'm going to be mad as fuck. Listen, you're helping prove my, prove my point. It's so incredible. When I get on the plane, I'm not trying to figure out how to fly this motherfucker. So again, like I said 10 minutes ago, I need a license motherfucker to take me up. <laughs> <laughs> and a license motherfucker to bring me down. Because I, I can't, I can't do it. Mm-mm. No jetpacks for me, bro. Well, <laughs> speaking of airplanes, so flight attendants have been training in self defense amid the spike of unruly passengers. So in Miami, there what were. What the fuck? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's been so, since mm -hmm. They got niggas taking fighting classes? Yeah, so. This is wild. <laughs> the, so eight flight attendants in Miami were among the hundreds that with, within the TSA plans to train this summer and fall in self defense skills because, you know, People have been wilding on planes right now. So the TSA started a whole course where they're teaching <laughs> flight attendants how to defend themselves against passengers. Would you help <coughs> somebody down? I would love to watch a uh, um, pay-per-view series of TSA versus passengers because TSA be giving <laughs> passengers problems too. So yeah. I would love for niggas to tell them to score once and for all in a fight you series. Like you, could do, you could do police like that. You could do all that type of stuff like that. It goes TSA versus passenger and then passenger versus uh, flight attendant. Is that yeah, the series yeah, yeah. of fights? Who the flight attendant got to fight, though? Would you help take somebody down on the plane? Um, it depends on what's going on. It, it might just taking them down because they talking loud and no, saying nah. some wild if shit. If, if, they're, if they're trying to if, do something if, crazy. If they're shit, trying to open the door. Yeah, open the if door. If this shit is in jeopardy yes. in any kind of way. Look, are would you, you would you turn top flight? I'm not going to say I, I have uh, fighting problems or that. <laughs> I want to fight, but like. I look for shit like that. <laughs> in, my, hey. in my head, I think to myself, like, I wish a nigga would try to grab that door. Yeah. I'm going to punch the fuck out of nigga right I'm now. I make the whole <laughs> scenario in my head. I've just fought multiple niggas to get Yo, the door closed. Sometimes I get on the plane, I'm like, who the secret security is? Yeah. It's that motherfucker right there. Always. It's always. Ain't got that nigga no it's more. Him. It's him. Look how he dressed. Yeah, it's him. And what then, about those entitled? And then you be like, is it me? <laughs> 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 Nigga, am I him? If it get cracking here, yeah, it's got to be you. It's got to be me. Because remember, I can't get myself up, <laughs> and I can't get myself down. So if you fly, I'm going to do you a great justice and kick his ass. You got to. While you get us down. Because you if to. you come out to kick his ass, who's going to get the plane down? Yeah, got so to. I might as well be a real nigga. And just really like, you know what I'm saying? We talk about it when we get when we land. We talked yeah. about this on the show and they left me hanging. I want you just to say one time that you saw this movie, Passenger 57. <laughs> yeah, but I don't remember it. Fuck. Yeah, I seen I it, but him. I don't remember it. It was Wesley Snipes. This shit was yeah, I remember Wesley Snipes. Okay. Yeah, yeah but the turtleneck on. He did. Turtleneck Wesley nigga Snipes. Had yeah, a I remember on. I just don't remember every piece of the movie, but I remember. Damn, you threw the well, turtleneck. There's a famous line. I had to let you know yeah. I remember. Yeah. 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 And he had his turtleneck tucked in his jeans. And he had a famous black leather jacket on. And he said he he had said always bet on black. He was fighting some white dude. That was his last He said always bet on black. I said 
it feels like everywhere though <laughs> as people are getting back into the sky i hear it a lot about crowds like hecklers are really bad right now and crowds mm. And now people are fighting well, like flight attendants. Mm -hmm. like, uh, in the airport? like I've I've heard comics like talk about joke. there's a um, there's more post pandemic heckling than w it was ever a pre pandemic thing. I think it's definitely give um, a certain kind of crowd or few kind of crowd. Excuse me, um, more balls to be more vocal. Wait, well, you they think they're trying to release it, or you, you think... got to understand um, when somebody get cursed from someone else, it takes them to learn. You know, on their own. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how life is. You know what I'm saying? We get a lot of people that feel like, you know, quarantine have taught them or gave them their voice. But it's like, come on, man. It's, 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 <laughs> this place called the United States of America, right? It ain't united. <laughs> <laughs> At all. It's ununited like a mother. So, so you man. think that people, like, have this courage that they didn't have before because, like, they feel... Yeah, I think so. Well, like, did. empowered in whatever their mindset or, is? Or even some people felt this way the whole time. And now they're like, yes, I can say it. Yeah, I can sure. act on it. I can do. I can be an asshole. Mm. You run into the right asshole, you go learn who the asshole is. Like they, what was the saying in the hood? They say everybody gangster to the real gangster walk in the room. Yeah, that's mm. how it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, you, everybody. Go, I, I feel like you know, just just be a good person, man. Be a thorough, good human being, man. You don't gotta worry about none of that shit. Have sure. you been seeing like all these? Flight, flights with like do you see that kid that got taped to the chair yes mm -hmm. the frontier yeah. how the fuck does that keep happening like, yeah. like that's what i'm wondering yeah. like what's going on in our I'm brains you, right you now you might take me down to you're not bro. taping Thank me to no yeah. chair i don't know how they keep losing that battle <laughs> so drastically well, it always is a cutaway too it'd be a director shot and the nigga I'll show you at first a nigga while I'm like fuck you and then and then the next shot just be a nigga <laughs> <laughs> like, like, tape, tape the fuck down. Yeah. Like, 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 you a cartoon what? character what is this, this is <laughs> and, and everybody <laughs> was like what the frontier airline employee got in trouble for this and i agree that the frontier airline employee shouldn't have gotten in trouble for this but if you watch the video he duct takes him to a chair which is pretty you know uh a sad thing to have to do and then he takes one piece and he smacks it over his mouth oh, and okay, i was okay. like all right that was a little excessive bro, frontier bro, lights. Bro, like, if you're jeopardizing <laughs> this plane in a major way whatever it takes to i gotta get, get you, my extra licking whatever it takes to get you like in in a way where we're in control i'm gonna fucking do yeah like some people ain't got time to play with you bro some people i, I feel bad for the guy at the club that's drunk get off on his shit he bump into that MMA fighter. He don't know him MMA fighter or a boxer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he weigh your ass out. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad for him because it's like, you're so stupid, man. You, everybody <laughs> want to be tough Tony. Everybody want to be tough Tony. And you don't even know. this. You ain't even, Yo, the club's so dark, you don't even see the cauliflowers on his ears. <laughs> <laughs> a real nigga know what that yeah, is. Oh, no, no. That don't look yeah. good, man. That don't look yeah. good. Yeah. That nigga that had his face in the dirt a lot. Yo, yeah. Like, yeah and, he, and he done got out sometimes, but he ain't finna get down there no more. Not no club. No, you ask them <laughs> niggas they want a shot. You be like, y'all want a shot? Yeah. <laughs> Try to be friends with them niggas. I feel, I feel bad for those people that just do too much, not knowing, and they got to learn the hard way. That's pretty much what I'm saying in that mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, but like, yeah, you're right. But also, don't play them games on don't fucking fly with me. That's what I'm, yeah, up in the air is just different. It's a couple plays black people don't want to play with your ass. Up in the air is on the boat, nigga. I'm not fighting your ass on this boat, fam. Yeah, Stop no, playing with not me. A boat. Uh -uh. It's Damn. just like up in the air. I'm not playing this game with you. If yeah. anybody makes any sudden move no. toward the door, I'm stealing off your ass. And I agree that like Half, I'm totally that folks still scared to fly. Shit, like, yes, oh, I'm saying. Uh, 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 I don't like that. <laughs> the light <laughs> come on. I don't like that. Hey, he get in the bathroom. He like shit. His eyes get big. Like it's cost a photo to this motherfucker. Yeah. Well, I got to shit now. <laughs> all the times I could have shit throughout the day. <laughs> oh my god. That's the worst. Nigga, I'm bro. scared. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be the worst, bro. Having that on a plane, that'd be the worst. It would be the worst. So Mexican drug cartel issues death threats to news anchor over unfair coverage claim. So Max Men. <laughs> Just one second opinion, that's it. <laughs> Just one second opinion. <laughs> so Max Men, who say they represent one of the most powerful drug cartels in Mexico, have circulated a video containing a threat to kill a national TV news anchor because of perceived unfair coverage. The clip which circulated around on Monday shows heavily armed men in masks surrounding a man who claims to be delivering a message from the New Generation Cartel. It is not known if the person reading the statement is actually the leader who goes by the alias El Mancho, 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 something. So 
The statement contains a complaint that the television network reported uh, to be a nationally available cable news station as associated with the major newspaper was showing favoritism towards supposed self-defense groups doing a battle with that cartel. So they threatened to kill the news anchor for showing favoritism to, I guess, the group that they're fighting against. Believe them. Mm-hmm. I mean that makes sense. Two words, believe him. Yeah. <laughs> One word if you want to put the, mm, the yeah, believe, however you want to look at, believe him. Yeah, I don't know. Ain't nothing you could do, right? Like what she yeah. gotta do? She gotta go to the government and be like, protect me, and they like, bitch, we can't do nothing either. Yeah. <laughs> they paying. We us. struggling. She's <laughs> struggling. get out of there. So, but a tweet from the from the uh, network basically said that they'll take the necessary measures to protect threatened journalists and news outlets. So they're gonna protect her, or him, him or her. As best as they can. Damn. Mm-hmm. You already yeah. gave her identity away. Courtney Bass said it was a woman. I said him or her. No, you correct. And actually, this, art- my ass now. this article actually says that Anchor's name, woman, right? but I'm not going to put that day out there. Oh. Oh. Have we not already went over? If they already publicly said it, then it doesn't make a fucking difference. <laughs> I doubt that they were like, oh, we didn't know before we watched Wanda Reed. <laughs> That's when we found out. That's where we get our news from. <laughs> when they. <laughs> When he said it was a bunch of heavy. Imagine weight. the cartel was like, we get on. It's <laughs> from wine and weed. From wine and weed. Exactly. A week. A week. A week. <laughs> when it said heavily armed men in masks, I just, for some reason, pictured COVID masks. Like the <laughs> <laughs> like the cartel is taking COVID-19. COVID-19. Very seriously. <laughs> no, they got the mask with the COVID mask on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> really taking it serious. <laughs> <laughs> They're oh like, look, God. we kill people, but we don't need to be stupid, okay? <laughs> we still want to kill ourselves. Okay? <laughs> I don't need an outbreak in this compound. Oh, shit. <laughs> so Nick Cannon explains <laughs> unorthodox <laughs> lifestyle. It ain't my decision. So for Nick Cannon. What the fuck? <laughs> Got a quote, quote <laughs> having, that. having multiple babies with multiple girlfriends is the father, uh, the father of the son's way of rebelling against the Eurocentric institution of marriage. He said on The Breakfast Club, that's a Eurocentric concept, the idea that you're supposed to have this one person for the rest of your life. The idea that a man should have one woman. We shouldn't have anything. I have no ownership over this person. So Cannon, who welcomed his seventh child um, in June, said that fathering so many kids is not a decision he gets to make. His dick is his dick making them decisions. Yeah, he said those women and all women are the ones that open themselves up and say, I would like to allow this man into my world and I will birth this child. It ain't my decision. I'm just following suit. I think I don't know if that's how it works all the way. Uh, uh but I get what he's saying. I get what I think Nick Cannon is walking so the rest of us can run. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, no, I think that I get what he's trying to say. I, I just, think it's a I just coping think it's mechanism the, or an excuse. That's what it sounds like to me. But, but that's how what he wants to do. I'm not saying what he wants to do is bad. What do you mean? Fucking, what do you mean an excuse? It's but, not our fucking. Oh, yo, listen to to be notified about what he do. Cool, but it's not. I don't have an opinion. That man, I, if he happy, God damn, that's what I pray for everybody. Yeah. Fuck it, just also not being politically correct. I'm just being one thigh wow. Yeah. If he happy. Psh, God damn, and I know my man got an ailment. It, uh, he probably living a different kind of life, mm-hmm. a different mentality than some of us are. So I just respect the fact that he can, that he can make, he can connect those dots and do that shit like that. I don't, <laughs> like I don't. That's think what that he want to do, and he happy. Like fuck it, that's his world. You know what I mean? I don't think there's anything wrong with him bringing up the conversation of if this is uh, uh, is a eurocentric eurocentric lifestyle. I don't think there's anything wrong with him. Opening up a conversation, right? Exactly. I don't. I don't know. No one has to agree with him, but I don't know if people can disagree with him either. He's not doing anything per se wrong to us too. Yeah, especially yeah, what is he doing the, to us? Him and the people <laughs> that he is like now are making a decision to have children together. There's nothing else. There's no nothing else really around it other than that. Yeah. Um, but people do want to look at it and be like, "This isn't okay." Because uh, yeah, I I'm not saying it's not okay. I'm just saying that I feel like that's a that's a justification in my mind. Like, uh, I feel like people's relationship tendencies like they can be evolutionary. When we started re- uh, like rela- relationships, mm-hmm. we there are some people that connected to if I find a partner that makes my life better and I'm like attached, I'm anxious about it. And there are other people who realize that you can't get attached to anybody because they're going to die. And like, I'm going to spread my seed and make sure I survive. And those are like evolutionary types. 
and like things have evolved. So I, I get that. I get what he's saying of like, he's not that type. He's not the person who yeah. finds one person and settles down forever. And I think that's totally true that that's not everybody, you know, yeah. but I, but for me, I, the, you're like, I, it's a societal contract, the, the marriage thing. And it worked so well because it was like these two people form a team, they work together and some people like that. And some people don't, and I don't think any one of them is wrong. They're just different, yeah. like evolutionary types. You ain't never thought about just having a whole bunch of kids and just being like, man, I know I'll make some dope ass kids, some funny ass kids. He's like, I should have some dope kids. And you be like, so you ever see like yourself and see somebody else be like, they could probably make some dope kids together. And then you just keep walking? No? <laughs> That's just me? Okay. And the way he said, you just keep walking. <laughs> That's the part that killed me. Yeah, it's like, I think it's easier for men to say that because for women, our whole entire bodies change when we have kids. It's just not. Like, sometimes it could be good. Sometimes it could be bad. You never really know what the effect could be on your body. For sure. Pregnancy. I, I think these people do are side of I think this is a luxury. I don't think anybody can just do this. I don't think niggas should try this at home. I don't think. You, yeah, Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon yeah. is not for it. it yeah, this is a luxury that Nick Cannon is running <laughs> his own life, y'all. The money is so separate. Let's not, yeah, <laughs> let's not get blinded now. Let's not get blinded. But they say with the toys, the batteries are so separate. Yeah. The money is so separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, also, I hope the women also have that similar, like, avoidant, like, which there's nothing wrong with, like, I'm not saying avoidant in a negative way, but, like, that style of relationship where they can connect and then. I hope they're not like Nick. Let, uh, let's just love me. Yo, you gotta understand. But some, uh, maybe some they're women, not. Some women, oh, no. some women want their space too. You exactly. Know? So you just, I mean, to so hopefully he found think, the great matches. No, I think he have if if he got this far, shit, and if he ain't, it's too late. Shit, goddamn. But at the end of the day, <laughs> <laughs> the girls are looking at each other. <laughs> well, like, say something, no. Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think he, I think he's I think he's living his life the way he should like live. Like his golden. It. His perspective is is the way he should live his life. I think this is not a one religious place yes. like so many different perspectives and yeah. the reason why we make us individuals so i think that subject and that you know title is the same if i was on the same thing to each his own yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. he doesn't have cool. control <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing. I love that. Like, I'm not it's doing just this. happening to me. <laughs> I don't want this to happen. It's got to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so an eight-year-old Pakistani boy faces possible death threat, pe death penalty for urinating in religious school library. So an eight-year-old boy faces a death penalty in Pakistan after becoming the youngest person to ever be charged with blas blasphemy in the country. So the boy is accused of intentionally urinating on a carpet in the library, in a library where religious books were kept last month. So these charges can carry the death penalty. After the court granted the child's bail, a Muslim mob attacked and badly damaged a temple in the conservative town where he lives. As a result, the boy and his family are now being held in protective custody. Okay, this question I'm about to ask does not matter at all, but I still want to ask it. Was it intentional or they saying he act, made an act, had an accident of some sort? So he's in, accused of in intentionally urinating How old on is the he? carpet. He's eight. Yeah. I feel like he's just a little troublemaker, just fucked up for his whole family. But he also might have a whole thing. I would tell that you, I don't know. You, you it doesn't fucking but matter. I, I don't, I don't, I don't that, that, absolutely hey, 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 not. Let me say this. Let me say this. When you travel to them other countries, when, that, when the different. last names is different, can and Ann and, hey, them rules ain't nowhere close to what yeah. you would want. That's why when you go and you travel abroad, you really kind of got to just be real cool because you don't know what rules you're breaking. Some place you can't even spit on the ground and you don't know this. It's, it, you can't, you know what I mean? It's, so it's, it's, some countries is this with the rules on the different side and some countries is here with the different rules. You got to be with somebody for them to tell you what's really cracking. So it's kind of best to just be with somebody when you go just so you know that because them rules ain't, they ain't ours. 1,000%. I just they ain't don't, ours. I don't know if in my eyes, if I, you know, if it's a have they been to Brooklyn? Morality. Have they been to Have they been to the project hallways? <laughs> no, I'm, no, yeah, yeah. no, I'm I'm just more saying an eight year old boy. Even if it is intentional, he's an eight year old boy and he can face the death penalty yeah, for peeing. Right mm -hmm. so I, I agree. I'm not here to tell nobody what to do with their rules and laws and everything. But, that but this fair. one don't feel like it's the that right one. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I'm saying I think it's just like a incredibly heightened version of a little troublemaking getting you like the craziest well, what if he had an accident oh then that sucks then that fucking sucks yeah he could have had an accident but regardless it's a child man it's, it's, a, child. Agree. it's a child man mm -hmm. and they rules are just unfair in a lot of those countries bro so it's just sad to hear that's fucked up yeah i don't get what makes 
I don't know what, ma- what where the mindset is. I guess you just kind of are blindly following. Well, I guess because the library is considered a religious place where all the religious books right. are yeah. being held, so it might be seen as a sign of disrespect. Yeah, yeah, no, we know, yeah. no, no, we, kids we, we get all crazy, that. It's just yeah, death when penalty. You're a, yeah, no, kids death penalty is wild. P. It's wild for sure. Yeah, yeah, death penalty for P is just not making. It's just mm-hmm. not. Yeah. I'm, I mean, if they go, we're we're gonna give you the death, and then they're like, okay, we won't give them the death penalty. Obviously, easy. We'll throw him in jail for fifty. <laughs> Look, we're, he can live. We're just gonna send him, but home. he'll die in prison. Like what? You, no, well, yeah, they're doing terrible things. That's that. <laughs> they're doing terrible. I things. can't even fathom it. It's honestly hard for me to imagine. That's just like a thing that any fucking eight year old might do as a troublemaker. It just has that. You pee in libraries, Chris? Did you pee in library or somewhere? Did you pee anywhere that you was like, I shouldn't pee in this place? Like in my life, probably. But yeah, I don't nah, think it's, as a, a, it's kid. a common thing. You're a boy when she first learned you could pee outside. You like the sky's a limit. Oh yeah, yeah the sky's a limit. The one rule: don't get caught. Don't get caught. I bet. Cool. True. Yeah. 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 You don't want nobody seeing your thing, but you just more like, <laughs> hey, why you caught that with your little thing? <laughs> your little thing. You just more like I could pee anywhere. That's cool. <laughs> so speaking of pee, a rapper right now, <laughs> a boogie with the hoodie, the Bronx native rapper, is being sued for clogging toilets with doo doo and lavish hey, New Jersey bitch. I just want you to say no. That it's in a real headline. The word doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a doo doo right there. <laughs> So. The <laughs> what publication is this? this Clogging is toilets with doo doo <laughs> in lavish New Jersey mansion. Doo doo. So Gosh. it has been revealed that he was the source of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in damage. How much shit can <laughs> one do? <laughs> source of How it. much doo doo are you it's, doing? Is liable. <laughs> damages to a rental mansion out in New Jersey. Clogging the toilet so bad that sewage spilled through the floors. <laughs> <laughs> it was doo doo everywhere. It was a, a doo so, nami. Further damage. I called it a doo nami. <laughs> so further damages include cut out. They had to cut out the carpet and stains in multiple areas of the home, walls and molding damages, landscaping damages, and entryway damages that have been left that have left the home unable to be leased until major repairs were done. So his team has failed to respond to the, <laughs> to the allegations. You, you got to deny this one for real. <laughs> you got, you got, you they, got to deny the shit. So the owners are requesting compensation. Uh, like, I don't even be here that much. <laughs> Damn, yeah. I didn't do that. That was I, somebody I else. I don't even be here that much. It was the squatters. They came and did that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Something had to be in that septum tank to back that thing up. Yeah. I, Something had to Ain't no shit that strong. I didn't do yeah. money shits in my life. I shit maybe five times a day. I know that's too much information. <laughs> guess what? But guess what? I ain't never, hey, I ain't hey. never put a house under. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey you know, you know what a, a old honorary old uncle would say if he just heard y'all read that whole right about him. That boy needs some vegetables. I <laughs> <laughs> need some to go do that boy. <laughs> yeah, you get some, some water, some, you, some juices. You get him right on out. Get him some collard greens. <laughs> run right through you. Black old man is so funny. And he probably <laughs> obviously threw parties at the big lavish mansion. Oh, so you're saying it's a multiple shit. I'm just saying it could just be <laughs> one guy. It could be one guy who went to the party and it sucks. You blaming one person? Well, if he's getting blamed for anyone who happened to be at his nah, mansion. Bro. If it, if it's a mansion, it does not have the same plumage as a small house, bro. It should, nah. be, it should be able to take a good They must have did a synchronized <laughs> shit. Everybody <laughs> must have been shitting at every toilet at once. And it was like, let's go. We go flush and you on the count of three. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Okay, that the whole house blew idea. up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that's the only explanation. Because other than that, there is no shit that could be two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth amount of shit. There's no yeah. shit out there that expensive. Bro, think about how much food. <laughs> no, think about how much food is two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of food. That's a lot of food. Because you gotta eat to shit. So Whoa. I mean, Whoa. damn. Whoa, it's not damn. Gonna, no, no. Don't even make sense. I, I didn't do it. I it's a full year. Not minimum. Guilty. Not guilty. <laughs> not guilty. Innocent. Hey Boogie, we got you, bro. You innocent, bro. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> And also just them saying that he is the source of it. <laughs> feels he's responsible for these shit. The, the word like, used, it like, feels like he's like sued he's them. Rappers are the example. <laughs> Rappers are the example of what a point anybody want to make, you know? So that's just how it goes, man. You're going to get stuck with it. They think you got it. You don't, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. Gonna you get responsible stuck. for them shits, bro. <laughs> 
All right, y'all. I know right now some people might be having a really hard time. There's a lot going on in our world, and it feels like the things that are happening could be affecting your goals or it could be interfering with your happiness. So there's this really, really cool platform called BetterHelp.com, and it will help you assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. It's a completely safe and private online environment. It's super convenient, and you can start communicating with a therapist in under 48 hours. It is a professional counseling done securely online. You can send a messenger to your counselor at any time. So it really just gives you a safe space to talk to someone about the things that are happening. So you can talk about anything from depression to stress and everything is super confidential. It's convenient. It's professional. And of course, most importantly, it is affordable. So as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash ww join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health we care about y'all we love y'all take care of your health so a black real estate agent and his clients were handcuffed outside of michigan home they were viewing so eric brown 46 with grand rappers real estate arrives at the two-story two garage brick covered home at 2 p.m on sunday and did what he always does he tested the doorbell, used an app on his phone to open a lockbox that held the key, and let himself in before his client arrived in order to open the cli- the cl- closets and bedroom doors. So his clients arrived 10 minutes later. The three of them waved to the neighbors outside, doing the normal Sunday things that they do. Someone was mowing their lawn. The family next door was hosting an out- outdoor gathering. No one noticed when the officers arrived. So um, Bre- uh, Brown and his clients were ordered to come downstairs and exit the house, uh, the front of the house, one at a time with their hands up. We realized, OK, this is going to be the- they realized from the window he could see the cops outside. But he was kind of like, oh, maybe there's a suspect on the loose. Maybe something's happening. <laughs> so because he, it was an open house. So he was kind of like, I, I don't know what's happening. I'm a real estate agent. So. Oh, it was an open house. It, yeah. No, well, he was showing the house, but it's a, it was a house that's on the market. So he was kind of like, maybe there's a suspect. Maybe there was like a squatter or something happening. Oh, wow. He was showing it. It's house. not us. Yeah. So he, he's a real estate agent. He was showing it. Mm-hmm. So as they walked out, all three were handcuffed and Brown asked what the disturbance was and didn't get an answer. Before he was about to be placed in the cruiser, he urged an officer to go in his pocket and pull out his wallet and find his business co- business card showing that he's a real estate agent. And he kept telling them, I'm just showing the house. The officer p- paused and asked Brown how he got in the house. Still handcuffed, Brown said he was led ba- he was led to the entrance of the house to demonstrate how he got the key out of the lockbox. The officer. Yeah, you're doing everything I'm asking you to do, but it's still not making sense. You're <laughs> black. <Yeah>. So the <laughs> officers. How took, do you have this job? <laughs> the officers took the handcuffs off, off all three of them and apologized and said that the house had recently um, had a squatter and the squatter's black Mercedes resembled Brown's black car. Because, you know, so, I can make a business car. Myself. Wait, he said the squatter had a black <laughs> Mercedes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Resembled the Brown, squatter's black doing well. Jesus. The squatters are professional. Yeah. So <laughs> professional squatter. <laughs> he he counted up to seven officers, all white, who said they did zero to do due diligence when they arrived to the house. They didn't announce themselves or try to ring the doorbell. They didn't come in here to talk. Seven of them yes, showed up. Seven of them after up. like we, he said, I'm the real estate agent, and he was like, I think I'm gonna need a lot of people to reaffirm that I did mm-hmm. this right. No, seven Like, wouldn't you try to be like, right there, right? oh, let me get out of there. Well, it was, it there. was seven officers, but he was already in the house and he was handcuffed and he kept asking them like, hey, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? And right before he was about to get put into the cruiser, he said, hey, I'm a real estate agent. Check my back pocket. Look at my card. Once they saw his card, they asked him to show how he got into the house. And that's when the officers apologized and they're like, oh, we we heard reports of a squatter. And later on in the article, it says that the officers were reporting to a 911 call from a neighbor reporting that the house was being broken into. So it was one racist that talked to another racist, mm-hmm. and then they played a game of telephone <laughs> with racism, That's and this is what we get. <laughs> this is ha- it happens so often. Yeah. And mm-hmm. seven of them showed up, seven. and none of them were like... She said, uh, it's, 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 it's three... Black people, so you can at least seven white people send them. Hurry up. <laughs> I mean, e- even if it was a squatter, which <laughs> I'm surprised the real estate agent wouldn't know about the, the squatter. squatter in but the also property. Also, the squatter had a black say. Mercedes. And and he said, and, the, and are we then, judging squatters too much? Are squatters <laughs> doing better than we will realize? Well, <laughs> also, he's definitely not that dangerous. Be squatting here. Yeah, 
they might catch him complaining, man. Don't worry. Oh man. But also like yeah, and also this person isn't charged with like robbing the house. He's living there. Like seven people. You need seven people. It just seems like such a. It just no, reminds just me. Bullshit. It reminds me of that like Django scene with the idiots, like KKK members who can't see through their masks. Yeah. I just that's my what wife I'm picturing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think there was an actual squatter. That's my thing. I think that this was just purely we see black people in the house. We don't know them. What the fuck they doing? We gonna send out seven officers to come and check on this shit, and it was handled um, poorly. Mm-hmm. It's not our first time. <laughs> We've went over police officers handling things poorly. The baby appears to delete Instagram apology for a homophobic rant. So the baby appears to have deleted the apology <laughs> he issued for his comments he made at Rolling Loud Miami. The apology was first posted by the rapper on his Instagram on August 2nd. So in the apology, he wrote that his comments were both hurtful and triggering. And since then, the post has been deleted. And he basically has been dropped by all of his major festivals. Dua Lipa took her off a single. So he is, yeah, it's a lot going on. I right think uh, her Kanye took him off his album. Uh, yeah, the baby just is like the M. Night Shyamalan of artists right now. He just hits me with so many fucking plot twists each time. Like, I just don't get the deleting of the apology. The one thing that was probably going to save your career was the apology. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it's ego, I don't know if it's pride. No pun. That wasn't a joke, even though it felt like one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was ego. I don't know if it's pride. I don't know if it's just poor guidance or what it is. Or for niggas just like, I'm sticking to my shit. I don't know. I'm just more saying that, like, the one thing that was probably going to save you, I just don't get why you, like, I'm going to delete that shit. Because, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's a, a moment of education. I think it's a moment of learning. And, and, and ain't nothing wrong with that. And somebody should be pulling my dog to the side and being like, hey, man. Ain't nothing wrong with learning, fam. Ain't nothing wrong, wrong with looking at things from a different perspective. And um, and just learning where the mistake may have been within all of this. And, 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 and ain't nothing wrong with that. And I just think that it took them a long time to get a PR statement. And then now they got the PR statement. Now the PR statement is gone. Oh, yeah. So I, I just, I, I'm, I'm intrigued. I, yeah, I want to know where his, quote unquote, career goes from here. As far as like brands, if they don't rock with him, period, ever. Or just how shit look. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I also think this this is going to be a a weird statement or a strong statement. But I also think that a lot of times within the canceling of somebody, right, it's it's about catalog half the time. Like, motherfuckers will give you a little more leeway if you got a little more to stand on. About like, okay, we don't want to, that's a wrong statement. Because, for instance, Matt Damon had something come out about him the same day. The whole the baby shit went down. Mm-hmm. We right. just got to make a real thought about deleting Matt Damon's movies from our heads and, and from our fucking shit. Not saying the baby's not. I think people are also really liking the baby right now, and they want him to like. I think everybody was ready to accept like, "Hey, I didn't mean that," and I educated myself. And then when he kind of said it like defensively, and then took it down. It just, it made me like, I don't, I agree. I don't know if it's pride or if I don't know if it's like a genuine belief and he doesn't feel comfortable not voicing his like genuine belief. And I don't really understand what his genuine, I don't know. It just makes me, I don't know. No, I'm like, what's up with this dude? I was just saying, I don't know if his, 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 the problem is not the problem, but a lot of it would be that I don't know if his catalog is strong. Like people were already trying to argue at the old baby got the same flow. Whatever. You argue, whatever you want to argue. He makes music. People buying and streaming it, whatever. So somebody likes it. Um, but I don't know if his catalog was strong enough that his stance was so strong. You know what I'm saying? Like his stance was to me way stronger than his catalog. And that's why people were being like, yo, dude, you being too cocky about this instead of being like, let us learn from this. Like you're not trying to listen to nobody. You just being like, I got this. Like when, like somebody was like, he trying to do the 50 cent. 50 cent did that type of shit. The difference is 50 cent came in with that same energy from the beginning. That's the reason people bought into 50 cent. Hmm. So you could do that. You can keep being, you could be consistent. But like, you, like, you, it's, do you think he's to, really thinking about any of this though? I feel like he's really not, gone like I, from the hip. I think sometimes it's hard if you, if you win it a lot, sometimes it's hard to know if you're doing something wrong if you win it a lot. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you winning in life, it can be very difficult for you to see anything you do as wrong if you're constantly being quote unquote rewarded for it. If you're getting rewarded for something, then you probably don't think anything is going wrong. I'm probably getting better in it in my head yeah. if I'm getting rewarded for it. And that might not necessarily be true. You might have people around you who, who make you feel like, hey, you everything's okay or you got this. Mm -hmm. But that's not with your best interest. That's just them being like, this This all means of money and shit. Yeah. I ain't fucking that up, nigga. It's, so it's the yes man. Yeah, the yes man. I right, we hey man, now nah, we fuck oh no nah, man. You say man, you stand on that shit then. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it, it, it be hard because you probably need them real niggas around you be like, hey fam, I don't know if you right or wrong. Maybe we did maybe we do feel this way for whatever reason. Maybe we grew up then, but but I think we should at least be open and listen to some shit, nigga. Cause the shit ain't looking good for us right now. It's 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 I think too, this is a very sensitive world we just live in, man. Big time. So um if you care about what you do, that kind of if the product you're selling to this world needs the people to survive in some kind of way and you're expecting something back from the people it has to be some type of respect and open dialogue um just being 100 you know what i'm saying just being in the united states mm -hmm. America, right that's true <laughs> that shit is so corny to me man but you know what i'm saying I, I feel like you know there should be some open dialogue you know what i'm saying mm. and i think there should be some openness of understanding because i don't know who's all at my show Mm -hmm. I don't know what they do. I don't know religiously, sexually, whatever way. Lee. I mm -hmm. don't know. It's not my place. Mm -hmm. I'm happy y'all came and support me. So let me let's go ahead and have a good time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? People forget, you know, these people bought our outfits two weeks ago, playing where they want to go eat. It's a whole moment for the concert goer. So yeah. it kind of sucks in a lot of ways, even for the co people that probably really wanted to see him perform in some of these places and can't now. So it mm -hmm. sucks. Yeah. It sucks. Chris, you canceling the baby? I know you bought tickets. Um, I'm interested to see where the saga goes. <laughs> saga goes. Saga. <laughs> I don't know. Saga. It, it's. I mean, I just think the things he said were uh, like um, weird, homophobic, like and like like also like what? Like I didn't know this point of view was like out there. Like fuck people with AIDS. Like I was like what? Like, why are you going after people with AIDS? This is the weirdest move I've ever seen anyone do. <laughs> so if he was like, sorry, I was just riffing and I suddenly in the moment got mad at people with AIDS. I know, I don't, I know that's stupid and I talk to people with AIDS. I understand their struggle and they're people with AIDS who are having that night excited about my show and mm -hmm. fucking to have that moment to sap one of them yeah. feels fucking terrible, you know? And I hope that he has respect for that audience member too, you know? Hip hop is, um, but I don't know if he just did it to be controversial. Hip, hip, I don't nah, get it. Now nah, hip hop, the origins of, especially the genre of hip hop that the baby does, it comes from a very stern, Stance. manly yeah. way. On what masculinity looks like. Yes, it, it, the, 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 the deepest depth of it. You know mm. what I'm saying? And, some of the stuff we have heard our whole life but we we understanding and we're all learning together in a sense yeah you know what i'm saying in a very sensitive time so that puts the lights on it and the the the, the it makes the roller coaster even more shaky you know what i'm saying yeah i mean it, so it's a it's, it's a weird time that's why i just think it sucks for all parties for those that are affected for the fans for him for the promoters it sucks for everybody mm -hmm. yeah i mean it's interesting it, it is interesting like just because we and anything in life yeah. There comes evolution. But I ain't gonna lie, I can't be mad if I do go to a, a rock and roll, I mean, not to cut you off, I go to a rock and roll show and it's like straight golf and he come out and he busts a balloon with blood in his mouth and it's coming mm. out of his shirt and shit. No, I can't run out the room and be like, oh, I didn't just, you know, like, like he, he comes from, it's, it's many different styles of hip hop first, right? And, um, I yeah, think, so there's an I element think, of it that it, that know, it, listen, let me, let me yeah, just say, sorry. I think it's a, it should be an open dialogue on both sides, really. Because he, his type of music, and too, the type of stuff that's in the music, I mean, what? So it's cool to say we kill, fuck a bitch, and blah, blah, blah. So it's like you can't necessarily pick and choose. But if we're going to, like, have a real conversation, have a full conversation on both sides. Because gangster rap is it, it's gangster rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and big companies still buy into that. Yeah. I understand your argument 1,000%. So that's why I think on both sides, it's, it's a learning curve for both. For both sides. I think I think that this is this is a, a bigger conversation as well. Like if you want to have that conversation, it becomes about community, right? Mm -hmm. It becomes about the different communities that we come from. 
and which voices are most powerful, yeah. which voices actually stand together, mm -hmm. and which ones can actually get shit done, right? What LGBT community was, they've always been, is a very strong voice together. Mm -hmm. And they'll let you know Absolutely. when the fuck you, you crossing the line yeah. on some shit with them. They gonna tell your ass, motherfucker, you crossing the line. Mm -hmm. And I respect them for it and I love them for it, right? The black community, in a lot of ways, has we've had problems getting on the same page hmm. and saying, okay, what is it? it? It starts from the origin of how we got here, when we're broken apart, different languages yeah. spread apart, making sure they're keeping us off the same page, and that, yeah. that goes into now our, our genetics, our DNA now, is still the same shit we're going through. We can't get on the same page for whatever reason yeah. to say the actual items that we want within this country, the respect we want within this country, the things we want to get done, we can't get on the same page for things like this, like like you speak of the yeah. greater the greater conversation of like, okay, if you are to say, hey, we're not buying into business of homophobic fucking comments, which you shouldn't, then why would we buy into the business of murder? Why would we buy into the business of all this other stuff that you're selling and you're buying into it gladly? You're buying into hip hop gladly because you're okay with black people talking about murdering each other. And too, honestly. It, but you're I, not okay. Cause you like 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 I said, it's if it was on country, rap, though, but it's gangster you wouldn't hear rap. That. You got to just still understand the subject in the genre is gangster rap, bro. Yeah, so yeah, but also it's it's a not, statement that was said in between songs. I didn't see that as part of the no, you know, unless no, no, you feel no, like no, it was no, part no, me, of the me, performance. Me, me, it's not a part of the performance. That's the persona of the genre. Bro. Yeah. Mm. It's you think not, it's because you're performing? Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, I mean, can I say this too? Can I say this too? Um, social media, the bop of some songs, make some people that probably, if they really knew what the fuck this song was talking about, they probably wouldn't be dancing and making TikToks to it too, or mm. being, being, you know, it, it, how could I say it, um, unenlightened. You know what I'm saying? If I'm listening to Let's Get It On, this nigga talking about fucking, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to know what you're listening to and what artists is doing that really do the research of what you put in your system as well. that's real and I, I think if you do that i think you'll be a lot more enlightened yourself as a consumer as a consumer we all have a responsibility we do and i think i think that's why i said it should be an open conversation for both sides to learn from both sides yeah both sides have ways that they want to be treated and respected mm -hmm. um gangster rap has always been that I'm not a gangster artist, so please don't ever listen to this podcast and think I would agree with some things that were said or disagree. I'm just telling you exactly what the genre is, and I understand that. That's enough for me to understand what could be said at the show that I'm going to. Whether I bought a ticket, I'm going with the homie. I understand what's, what could possibly happen. Yeah. From a shootout to a stabbing to somebody saying whatever was said. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some yeah. shit just comes with the genre. You but, go to an R&B show, a guy might pull up your girl on stage and rub on her ass and nibble on her neck. It might happen. Hey, just like, Mar <laughs> just like Marilyn Manson. You're saying just like Marilyn Manson fucking eats a bat or, That's Ozzy, you know, Osborne. Well, Ozzy Osbourne. Or, I remember people were like, Marilyn Manson should perform I'm for his for Almost, I'm saying that. I'm saying almost apologize that. for his I'm performance. I'm saying certain things that come with certain genres, whether the fan thinks it's cool or not. It's with the genre. Now, That's what I will what say is this. Now, then the question becomes, um, if things are in different genres or things that come in different households or anywhere. Like, mm -hmm. Are we not okay with having an open dialogue and saying some things may not be okay that come from those different things? I think and that's, no, 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 I, that's I gotta, what helps this it, moment yeah, be so 100%. whack because it makes it only one conversation in a whole book of chapters. Yeah. You pick one page and let's have this one no, conversation. I, I, I'm and with forget you. this book exists into another book. But that's about happens. but that's, that's about voice. Respect. That's about voice. That's about the LGBT yeah. community having a strong voice together. Not and respect, saying yes, we sir, not standing it. for this bullshit. Yeah. If we stood together and said, you know what? As much as niggas know shit really happening because niggas lived and shit. Because this is the thing. This is the thing. These people are still, as he is saying, and the truth he's speaking is that things do come from different genres. If that's homophobic, homophobia from the black community, we know it's there. We know it's a real fucking thing. But at the same time, he's saying that we all know it, and that's a dialogue that we haven't had amongst each other yet. Mm -hmm. So for the dictatorship of white corporations to say, well, we ain't fucking with you. Because this thing is like, we need to be able to have a conversation in our own community 
and be like, yo, fam. Like, cause we know growing up, niggas well, it's say a conversation to have. Say, like, if there's it's, if if a white a artist is racist, I'm not gonna be like, well, we should be talking. He should be able to say racist shit, and we should be talking about whether people should be able to say racist shit. Like, no, fucking don't be racist. Fuck this dude, and I don't want him to play another show. I totally agree, but you gotta understand. Even when I say what I say, I say it in a way for both sides to understand the truth and the of the reality of the whole. The, it does exist, though. Yeah, so you still gotta have a conversation, yeah. but 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 no 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 no. See, without the conversation, there's ignorance. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's where other shit begin to take place. Anger, and then other things begin to take place. So, to ignore a conversation where you really have time to have a real conversation, I suggest America to have it. Yeah, because some motherfuckers don't care about this place no more. They're burning this bitch down, as we all can see. Yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. it, you gotta understand when there's a conversation that should be had of understanding. It could be taken as disrespect to not even sit there and have the conversation of understanding out of respect if there's a real problem. Because both sides have a place of wanting to be respected and understood. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like if I say I want to talk to you and you say, man, fuck out of here, that's whack. Yeah. Right? So I think to learn from both, because I probably did something to piss him off to make him not even want to talk to me. And I don't know it. So to have that open conversation, you learn from each other, man. Like, I don't get where it's just one-sided. One-sided sucks, bro. It's always two sides, two feelings, two understandings, bro. And I think when y'all had that conversation, that dialogue, bro, it kind of breaks shit down for both sides to be smart at the end of the day. Yeah. Actually, kind of that's what I was kind of saying. I want to see where the saga goes at the beginning because, like, I don't really understand it's not pretty. what he was it's saying not, not and, be and what his moves are. Now, I will that's, say this much. I, I kind I'm of want to understand it more before I say the, I just don't get it. Hey, i say this, I say this much. You'll be a buck with you. Nigga, I may have, I can say 1,000% I disagree wholeheartedly mm -hmm. with Hitler, right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you hear a Hitler speech, you're like, I understand what he's trying to say to his fucking followers. This is wrong. This is dictatorship. This is not it. But I hear what he's trying to preach to them. I didn't understand the stance. It came out of nowhere. It caught me off guard. You didn't get what his motive was. The baby was. thing. Is I was like, what, what is it? Yeah, I was like, who? In my head, it was like this. Either you know somebody, I know it just doesn't make any sense. I, didn't I was trying to make up from. stuff in my head of like the A's do something to you personally. I don't fucking know. I don't know what the beef comes from. And also, to even go back just two seconds, That's I what think I'm I think racism is in LGBTQ community is a whole different thing because mm -hmm. racism is one kind, one hundred percent of people against many other different colors. Mm -hmm. People that have AIDS are all different fucking races, so we mm -hmm. can never compare that. I just want to go back. You can't compare AIDS to racism. Hmm. I, I just didn't understand the fuck people with AIDS thing in general. No, I get I it, didn't. but I, I just want to go back a little bit because I was like, you can't. That's yeah. Not, that don't, that, that's not math. That's well, because he was saying people sucking dicks in parking lots, which people took as gay people. So yeah, it, kinda, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, fuck yeah. people with AIDS and also I get it. fuck but the I, I gays. I was saying when you compared it to racism, I just wanted to make just let you know you can't compare racism to AIDS. AIDS is I'm saying homophobia. Many different, many different cultures, many different races. Many different religions of people that have AIDS, but racism is a total different. Yeah, that's one. So I, I do think it is. A, I do think it is like a, a super like canceling is such a super white luxury of being like we cancel motherfuckers. Only they get to decide who's canceled and who's not. Because like in this like like you said, I I think the baby is completely wrong. I do think there's a conversation mm -hmm. that people should be trying to have with him to enlighten him. Yeah. And to guide him and say, hey, this is what it is. I do think deciding when you like dispose of somebody is super much so like, because yeah. like I just said in the same week, Matt Damon just had his whole thing come out. Bro, so I, I Nobody talking about him, fam. Yo, when the, when yeah, the, I don't know. I, <laughs> what you mean you don't know, nigga? The first time we I heard watched that his hot ones today, so I'm, <laughs> so I'm over it. Yo, the first time we heard those type of sayings in hip hop and shit, the world wasn't as sensitive, it wasn't as knowledgeable, it wasn't as, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? The mm -hmm. times were just different. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure even watching maybe one of his favorite rapper shows, he probably, you know, some of that thing, some of those things I learned things to make, you know, things out the crowd. No mm -hmm. excuses for anybody. Mm -hmm. But I'm just reminding us of the origin of things and how, you know what I mean? Because a, a lot of that is not said in the conversation. I'm not defending anyone. Mm -hmm. but I'm just trying to make some people knowledgeable of what they're really a part of. Some people don't even know about gangster rapping, the first guys, and that's how the fuck everybody got down. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It doesn't make it right. 
But at the end of the day, if this is the conversation, I think, again, to be knowledgeable of the genre that you're listening to and the concerts you're going to will help you be more understandable of what could possibly happen. Yeah, and of, co of, of course, if you want to go back, and, and if, you know, people do like to go back sometimes and cancel people for the fucking... Yeah, well, somebody ain't had no money. I mean, nigga, I was broke that day, nigga. Why you sound broke, nigga? Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, I ain't had no ends, bro. Who's speaking broke. up for us broke niggas? <laughs> Our <laughs> voice is weak in this bitch. <laughs> No one is defending Book us is broke weak. niggas. <laughs> uh, no, I, I get what you're saying. Just because, I mean, like, if nothing else was brought to mainstream, I remember when Eminem was going through his shit. Yeah, I was thinking and, about Eminem. And, 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 and he was dropping F-bombs after F-bombs. And, you know, again, the strong voice of the LGBT community was like, fuck out of here. Well, yeah, and he's not about to do this, fam. And I just think that, if, you know, if we really want more i do think that yeah corporations are bullshitters because they buy into what the fuck they want to buy into and like nah, you said they buy, they buy into the what black death tickets, all day they, they buy into black death all day whatever y'all buying tickets for is what they gonna bring to you you gotta remember they the they ups they ups they don't make the artists they don't break the artists they go get what you want and bring it they 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 amazon they get what you want and bring it to you yeah you can see these same artists in any other show whatever time during the city as long as they ain't quarantining you could and outside is open so if you really look at it what it really is you will understand how this thing really goes a little bit more a little bit more do you think that from an eminem perspective like like eminem like raps about like killing his wife right but do you think right. do you think it's different if he raps about killing his wife versus saying in between songs like hey i think you guys should all go home tonight and kill your wives like is that different? He never said or he like should all fuck go home and women wife. exactly. But I, I, what I think is, the, exactly like I that. think the baby's, I think the baby's statement no, is Eminem, also no. like not within his. No, art. no, 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 fuck out of here! No, I was not defending Eminem. But Eminem, no, I, uh, no, fuck Eminem. Oh no, like, I'm, I'm asking that, a separate question. No, I think that no, I think that there's no separation. I think Eminem was white. I think that, that and I think that was also in a time where you could say that. If I'm being real. That was for shock I factor. Think, I that think it was in a time where America was, they knew right. that rap was homophobic. It was just what it was, and it was buying. Everybody was buying it. Right now, like he's saying, it's not popular to be homophobic. Mm. It should have never been popular, but right now it's not popular. I agree, I agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now they're saying, well, now that it's not fucking something we can monetize anymore because the LGBT community ain't fucking with it, and voices are being heard more now. I guess we got to say we not fucking with him either. It's the same shit that happened during the fucking, the, the fucking George Floyd shit. Every corporation had to come out and let us know they weren't racist. That was hey, so guys, that just was in so case we didn't weird. say it, um, we too believe blacks should live. I don't know what we're <laughs> saying here. Um, but yes, us at Pay Less stand we're with, with the you. blacks. We're, with you. we're walking in justice with our new shacks. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't like. You know, that every corporation came out and was like, "We're That's all that's going on right now is that people do jump on this bandwagon shit of like, one person cancels you, we all have to cancel you now because we all have to say number one, that's not okay, and secondly, it's a press release for us too. Just in case you forgot about us, we are still doing business here at Payless, and we are marching with you. It's just like it's that. You know what I'm saying? Like so, it's a lot of those companies also being and like, it's a click, and it's because festivals day. don't have to fucking announce that the baby ain't coming no more. Because they can just take the motherfucker off the shit, and they could. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to like make it a big thing. They're trying to also be like, we too, we're making a statement. Not saying it's the wrong statement. I'm just more saying that like it's it's a lot of layers into this. It's not just as simple as a statement from the baby. This is time. This is all this shit working against you. You should sure. be more educated though, the baby, yeah. because you do have more access, and it is a different day and age. Yeah. And nigga, you can't say that. Yeah, yeah. And time and time is a factor. You know, like time. People people getting to understand things sometimes takes a little bit of time. And if he's authentically going to understand it maybe it takes more than a fucking second and i do feel like in three days i don't even know what happened like the baby said something the baby was canceled the baby apologized the baby deleted the apology the baby, it like happened very fucking quickly so um we'll see how that shakes out i feel like everything in somehow comes together right now with the people's voices being loud and people uh attacking people on airplanes and heckling comedians and feeling like they have a voice I don't know. There's something. Was that you just wrapped up the show? I kind of. I, 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 I felt that energy. I think the world needs to smoke more weed. 
Chill the fuck I out. agree. Chill the fuck out. Everybody. Don't pass, don't pass to nobody. Keep your own to this shit. Go back. Chill the fuck out. Roll your own. Roll yours, but chill the fuck out. Smoke more weed. Delete pictures of your ex girlfriend. <laughs> That's where you land. You land on delete pictures. I I you would never just want to you would never just want to see your I agree with you like, that uh, I I agree that I want to folder it but folder it real quick on the, in, in hey, the that, show. Word, that word folder is so funny folder so is there a filing cabinet full of folders <laughs> like how does this go you know, the folder gonna get you <laughs> fucked up bro I I feel like foldering it it feels like you're giving it too much time and now you're reminiscing bro I feel like a photo is just like helping folders you wild I feel like it's helping you hold on to some shit you probably need to like yeah now the folder ain't the right call you, yeah because you probably gonna be toxic after, you probably is toxic holding on to this folder. What about a service that just packs photos away? She's gonna think you masturbating to that folder, fam. I ain't even wanna say it. I ain't wanna go there, but I gotta, I gotta point what? it out. She's she gonna think you're beating of- off to that folder. She gonna be like, what else is in that folder that you're not showing me? And too, like to have the pictures. What is I don't want to make happy the memories. Folder. Like, a, just have a photo album if you just want to be happy. But if I, that's why I say if you got if you got pictures, bro, you, you still want that. A photo album sound. Like, if you, it's like, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If it's for memories, it's happy memory. Fuck it. Just put, just celebrate your pictures. But if you, if it's a sneaky ass folder that's tucked behind a bunch of shit and da 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 da, come on, bro. Come on. Bro. It's not sneaky. It's yeah, showing it's up in my shit. memories. Yeah, yeah, no, in right. your memories is one thing. If you got a, no, if you have an actual photo album, you're a madman. That means you travel with that motherfucker. You move no. houses and shit with that shit. All kind of shit. You just like, I'm gonna keep these hey, pictures. It's probably it's probably a toilet entertainment. You know when you get on that toilet, you just Yeah. If you, you had some deep, you got an old pictures on the toilet? Nah. Man, bro. y'all got an old pictures no. on the toilet? Nah, but you know everybody get to use pick up that phone and get some type of entertainment going. You never yeah. know. Yeah. So it's like, oh man. <laughs> I watch movies. <laughs> you guys have I'm gonna think for a long time. time. I'm gonna think for a long time my, my legs sleep. I'm watching full on movies. No. No. <laughs> this nigga it, 59 minutes and 32 seconds. Like, oh my God, I ain't even got up and wiped myself. It's a short film. This was nominated. <laughs> I can see it. Uh, oh, I should do a name of, I should do a little blog show where I watch short films and I call them the shit list. And I watch short films on the toilet and I give y'all my review on the toilet while I'm shitting and I'm watching the shit list. That's a new show. It's if coming you want to see the shit list, let us know in the comments. Let us know. Uh, and if you don't, also you're not on the shit list, bro. Why are you trying to announce my show? I'm trying to hype your show. Well, I don't, I don't need be, you to hype the shit I'm list. Not man. In the it's shit on list. NBC. <laughs> it got picked up already, Chris. <laughs> NBC just text me. <laughs> <laughs> They're going back to the Peacock Fridays. The shit list <laughs> on NBC. Right after the blacklist. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, we'll see you next. Thank you, BJ the Chicago BJ, Kid. BJ, 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 my, my guy. I appreciate you so much, my guy. Yeah, man, Come back whenever. You're hilarious. Amazing perspective. You fitty, too. You know, we ain't got a lot of guests that be fitty. You fitty in here. Chilling, Respect. <laughs> yeah, and that's why, you know, you cool. <laughs> chilling, nigga, with the chilling. I'm trying to get like you, nigga. Um, Chris, for Christopher Reinecker, for uh, AKA Court Casper. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this has been wine and weed. Zip it up and zip it out. Yes, sir.